Welcome to Express It. Today I want to talk about my three tech predictions for 2012. Tech prediction number one is that Intel's Ultrabook's form factor will be the emergent technology that people are buying next year. Just like we saw tablets being bought up in 2011, I think that Intel has struck upon a really good niche here that will fit a lot of people's needs. I think these Ultrabooks are really slick. I mean, they're thin, they're portable, they're lightweight, and they have enough horsepower that you can actually get some work done. I think it's balancing the right line between a laptop that people want to be productive with and a tablet that people want to consume content on. I mean, take a look at what ASUS plans to release sometime in 2012, probably about halfway through, is a touchscreen Ultrabook. So not only will it be that slick, thin form factor, but it will also run Windows 8, uh, which is a touch-friendly OS coming out from Microsoft. And it'll be that great uh, experience where you can just intuitively interact with your screen. But when the time comes to do some work, you can write on the keyboard to tap out that email or Word document. Tech prediction number two. I think that Apple will come out with the iPhone 5 and it will have an NFC chip or near field communications chip inside of it. So this year, a lot of people were expecting the iPhone 5. In fact, we were calling it the iPhone 5 for months before the iPhone 4S was released. And it was a great smartphone for sure. And uh, people are really enjoying talking with Siri, the personal digital assistant there. But it's nothing revolutionary. And aside from a better camera and a better processor, the hardware is pretty much the same. But next year, I think the iPhone 5 will come out and it'll include this NFC chip, which uh, Google has already put in its Nexus devices and in other Android devices. And it's allowed Google to launch their Google Wallet app, which is a pretty innovative way to do mobile payments. So I don't think Apple will want to miss out on that action, especially considering the profit potential for something like a mobile wallet. I mean, Apple already has our payment information in iTunes. Everybody has a credit card registered there. So it's an easy and natural progression to include a mobile wallet application that would let you pay for things at the cash facilitated by an NFC chip. So expect to see the NFC chip at least and probably some sort of app or a mobile wallet offering from, Google, from Apple too, in addition to uh, Google who already has theirs on the market. But Google's on my brain and tech prediction number three is that Google will succeed finally with its social media efforts. I think it's found the right chord here with Google+. Plus. It's uh, nothing that is, hasn't been done before. I mean, people say it's like Facebook, it's like Twitter, but that's okay. I think that it works and that uh, it allows people to discover each other and follow each other easily. And the circles model allows people to feel like they have control over their personal information, but can also share information very easily. And that uh, I, you know, you're not going to be exposed to the wrong people and that also you have the right ease of convenience there to uh, throw that document and share it with your work team and not your friends, for example. Plus, it's being integrated into all of Google's services that people rely on, starting with Gmail here. We're seeing some of the features have just been added into Gmail. So I think people rely on these services and they won't be able to give them up and they'll start to see what sort of benefits that social layer really adds into them. So those are my tech predictions for 2012. Uh, let me know, do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Tell me in the comments section. And if you have your own tech predictions, I invite you to share those with us on our Facebook page or also here in our comments section. Thank you for Express It and itbusiness.ca. I'm Brian Jackson.